heat, more dragon metals here, more metal talk. We're talking about tin today. So this is tin. As you can see, it's extremely, extremely shiny. Very similar to silver in appearance, with its epic shininess. This is again a very, very soft metal, similar to indium. As in, you can cut it with a pair of scissors and it marks quite easy. You don't really want to drop one of these on a hard surface. I have before and it dented and I had to remelt it. It was not fun. So, very, very soft also. It's quite rare, obviously. Now, this is vital within the food industry, obviously, for plating tin cans that contain your food in order to make the steel not rust and your food not taste like iron so it's pretty important to the food industry it's also used in makeup for collagen type stuff for filling wrinkles so some sort of good for you in that sort of way it makes you shiny <laughs> so that's what its function in makeup is makes you shiny now this stack here is worth about £55, so it's pretty valuable, but not as valuable as, say, indium. As you can see, this stack is quite large, but it's very, very nice looking, and quite easy to stamp. I did have to use a hammer to stamp these, as the metal is slightly more dense, but as soft. Still quite brittle though, so no drop in the stuff. There we go, that's a loaf, as you can see, that's a loafing gut, a nice loaf on the side. These are probably worth a bit more due to the fact they're all individually stamped with different designs and weights and purities and such. So, probably worth a little bit more than £55. <coughs> as other uses in electronics, such as low melt solder because it has a low melting point so for joining and welding also used in components as well for legs on microchips and most legs in fact on electrical components are plated with some tin so useful in electronics and here as with yet more uses glass for example is made by floating molten glass on a massive sheet of molten tin. So it's important to making glass also. So it has lots of strange uses. There are yet more uses. Check the description for more of the unusual properties of the metal tin. Good for investment if you want to Get some shiny metal that's cheaper than silver, but easier to work, as this is quite easy to work the metal, compared to more denser metals like silver, which require quite a stamping. Whereas these don't, and they pour very, very easily. It's a nice metal to pour. I've poured 14 different ones, so <laughs> I know what I'm talking about when it comes to pouring metal, at least. Well, until the next metal talk. Probably be doing a few of these on various different metals, as I have many, as I just said. So keep an eye out for them. Like and subscribe if you want to see more about metals and more stacks. <laughs>